I wanted to take you on a quick tour of a World War II field kitchen uh, that we have in use with the 353rd Infantry. Uh, the field kitchen is a Czechoslovakian one. Uh, the Czechs made these in the uh, mid-30s and they continue to be made all the way through the Cold War era. There's uh, electric lights in the back so it could actually be towed. Uh, some uh, versions of the field kitchens uh, often had uh, wagon wheels for horse-drawn sections, but this one was definitely for a motorized vehicle. The trailer has uh, three cauldrons on it. These cauldrons have uh, steam relief valves. You can see that we're uh, working on breakfast right now. Uh, the uh, tops, when you open them up, these cauldrons uh, can hold about 40 gallons of liquid. And it's enough for these three uh, where you can feed uh, one company each is the idea. So you could feed about 140 guys uh, with uh, each one of these cauldrons. These go down pretty deep and there's a firebox. So uh, the fact that you could feed uh, three companies, this equals one battalion. And if you take a look at the way uh, these sponsons are on the side, these actually are food carriers that can pull out. And each one of these can hold enough for uh, 30 guys. So you have uh, enough for your uh, three regular platoons and your heavy weapons platoon. In the back here, we have a, a firebox, and uh, the firebox uh, is just that. It's got a grate in the back, and uh, we're able to feed it uh, up in the top. There's uh, the cauldrons, and uh, the way it's vented is that you have uh, this smokestack here. If you want to cook something, uh, the center cauldron will get the hottest and these two back here are more warming uh, even though they're directly under the fire the fire gets drawn under that top one so if you want to cook something in a hurry you can cook on that we pull the cauldrons with a uh, special device this uh, launch hole right here has chains and these hooks right here are used to hook on to uh, the handles on the kitchen itself and two guys can actually get this thing over their shoulder and lift these out uh, even if they're full and they could pull them off to the side to be dumped or to be washed or to be added on the sides. Uh, this particular kitchen also has the provision of having uh, foot struts and uh, they have a chain link system so you could actually push these things in and uh, if you take a look there's also hand nuts on these as well. Uh, this was designed so you could unscrew uh, all four of these on the sides and they have a handle and on the other side you got this so if you pull all of these this act, the kitchen actually lifts off of this trailer and can be set on the ground so it only sits about this tall and that's the way it was originally designed and uh, we've never actually had it off of there because it's much easier just to work on the trailer all of the ones that we've seen uh, except for one picture uh, they were actually done you being used on the trailer if you have uh, the Kettenhunde book uh, chain dogs. Uh, you can find one of these in use where they have a uh, large uh, board where they're actually opening cans of army soup uh, to dump into the cauldrons.